Okay guys, welcome back. We're here for another video coaching lesson from YourSixPackQuest.com. I'm Vince Dalmani, and today we're gonna to be talking about fat loss, specifically fat loss plateaus. I can't count how many times people email me and ask me, Vince, I'm stuck. I can't move, I can't get any lower. I'm doing everything, my body won't change. This is the weight I'm meant to be the rest of my life. No matter what I do, I, I just can't change. Remember guys, what goes in must come out. If you think you're stuck and you can't change, what kind of effort are you gonna put out in the gym? If you're, th if you're convinced that your body is where it's gonna be the rest of your life, what kind of motivation is that gonna give you when you're out on the weekends and you're in tempting situations? When you're in the gym and it's time to push, but you're convinced that your body can't change, where's your motivation to push through the crushing points? Here are the three most common reasons I see people get stuck with fat loss plateaus. And we're gonna to touch on three different areas. The first area is we're gonna look at your training. And I think a lot of people, to be honest, are undertrained. You hear a lot of talk about being overtrained. You might overreach in a particular workout where you do a little more than you've done before and you're sore. But unless you're training two to three hours a day, seven days a week, you are not overtrained. Get that through your head. Only professional, professional athletes overtrain. That's a myth. So stop being afraid of pushing your body. You know, a lot of people come to the gym and they focus on straight sets. You're not gonna see straight sets in my programs. You're gonna find very demanding circuits that are gonna require you the most of your body, mind, and your soul. And you know, it's one thing to lift a heavy weight while you're fresh. It's another thing to do it in a fatigue state. And I'm gonna challenge you, I'm gonna give your body a reason to get lean. And that's what I'm asking you. Is your program designed to get you lean right now? Are you training right now with an effort that's supposed to make your body train? Most people aren't. The second problem is nutrition. I can tell you right now, if you're not losing body fat, most likely your calories are too high. And if you're just guessing, you're wasting your time. And do you have any more time to waste? Everybody complains to me, you know, I don't have time to work out. If you're not following a nutrition plan, then I don't know what, what the heck you're doing. You need to have something that tells you exactly what to eat, at what times, and what amounts. It needs to be pre-planned. You might have heard the saying, having the will to win means nothing without the will to prepare. I can't help you with your nutrition if you email me and say, Vince, I'm not changing. Well, how the heck am I supposed to help you? If you send me your meal plan, I can look at it and I can tell you, well, you know what? Why don't we drop those two slices of bread down to one slice of bread and at the end of the week, we'll monitor the response. And that's how you make changes in your program. Not two or three things at a time. We change one variable at a time and we change it. So if you're at a weight loss, if you're at a fat loss plateau right now, and you think it's from nutrition, pick one thing and one thing only. Maybe this week you increase your water intake from four liters to six liters. At the end of the week, get back on the scale and see if you've lost a pound. If you haven't, you gotta change another thing. Maybe you increase your chicken breast from one to two, or maybe you take it from one to a half, whatever. Make one change, monitor the result. The third problem that I see is lifestyle. So many people want six packs, they want to be lean, they want to be healthy, but then when you go out on the weekends, everything you say you want, it doesn't reflect it by what you're doing. If you're staying out till three, four in the morning on a binge fest, drinking with your buddies, doing shots, drinking a two, four, drinking rum and Cokes, you know, sleeping three, four hours, trying to do a leg workout the next morning, I have to question your commitment to your goals. Maybe you're not that serious, and if you're not, that's cool but don't get mad at yourself when you're looking the exact same two, three months down the road. You know, I teach a no nonsense, no BS style, and if you're serious about this, then we can help you. Another thing regarding your lifestyle is not enough sleep. And they say for every hour of sleep you get before midnight is the equivalent of two hours sleep. So one thing I wanna encourage you guys to do is try to go to bed earlier. It's better to wake up earlier, that way you can get your first meal in you. Peter Carvel hit a plateau, and what we did was we had him wake up just an hour earlier so that he could get his meal in him earlier. That kick-started his metabolism so he was burning calories for an extra hour longer each day. When you kick that in over seven days a week, over six months, he's gonna get results a lot quicker. I'm assuming you wanna get fast results, right? 
Another thing with lifestyle is social settings. When you go to restaurants, you are not a victim of what is on the menu. I embarrassed a girl the other day. We went to a restaurant and uh, I have this little thing. If they don't make what I want, then I get up and leave. I'm not gonna let a restaurant bully me into telling me what I need to eat. Here's something cool for you. If you're on a date, you might not wanna do this if the girl lives in, your, <laughs> in the city that you're going out and you might embarrass her. Don't even order off the menu. Tell the waiter what you want and tell the waiter to tell the chef how you want it cooked. If you're on a diet and you need two steamed chicken breasts, broccoli, and light salad dressing, tell them that's what you want. They're in a restaurant, they can cook it however you want. So you're not a victim, take control of your life, take control of your results. Those are three tips to help crash through your weight loss plateau from a nutrition, from a weight training, and from a lifestyle standpoint. If you want to put the whole package together, I'm just giving you little pieces of the puzzle, go to YourSixPackQuest.com. Currently there's over thousands of people who have already downloaded the program. They're on their way to getting a six pack and you actually have a chance of winning $1,000. Every 16 weeks I give away $1,000 to the best transformation. And you can be next, so not only will you get a brand new outlook, a brand new life, but you have a chance of winning a thousand bucks for just working hard, sending me your pictures, and trust me, it is worth it. That's all I gotta say, that's enough talking. Let's get rocking, we'll see you at the gym.